Hello again, everybody. It is the coach. You're tuned in to Madden 19 on EA Sports. On tap is what should be a pretty good matchup between the Washington Redskins and the Arizona Cardinals. With that, let's get out to the desert. Standing by in Glendale, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you very much. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. So this was the scene a moment ago. The Cardinals emerging from their tunnel, and we are ready for football as the Cards get set to match up with the Washington Redskins. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me, as always, Charles Davis. And, Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So out come the Cardinals now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by their new quarterback for 2018, making his first start as a Cardinal. Here's Sam Bradford. And getting another fresh start, this time in Arizona. But it'd be interesting to see how people in the building, how people in the organization view this season for Sam Bradford. Is he a bridge to Josh Rosen, who they drafted in the first round? Or will he become their legitimate starting quarterback as they try and challenge for a playoff spot? When he's on his game, there's nobody more accurate in the league throwing the football. They'll run for the first time with Johnson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. To give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said write down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. And if that continues, it'll be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. the intended target and that'll bring up second down and let's look now at the offensive starters for the Cardinals I could go on and on about Larry Fitzgerald and his numbers which are considerable and everyone knows that but the thing I keep coming back to he never quits seeking knowledge every year he works with former NFL players who were great wide receivers in order to improve his game watches a ton of film always curious always finding a way to adapt and improve his game They'll run with a former Tar Heel, T.J. Logan. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that's going to lead to a third and 11. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. And the Redskins have an extra man of the secondary here on third. From the shotgun, it's Bradford. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. Nice idea, nice concept there. Line him up on the left side of formation, let him sneak his way across, coming back underneath, put it in his hands, let him get a few more yards after the catch, too. Great way to utilize a tight end on the drag route. In Washington territory now, here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Now a play fake here on first down. 
And his throw is going to be incomplete. And now a look at the Washington defense. A force off the edge is Ryan Kerrigan, who's had 24 sacks in the last two seasons alone, and that's second only to Chandler Jones over that span. Not only does he get to the quarterback, he knows how to strip the ball away from him as well. And that was something he did particularly well when he was at Purdue. Noted for forcing fumbles, for takeaways. He's carried that over quite well in the NFL. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Second down, Johnson. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Give him four on the ground there. They're now left with third and six. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Third down, Bradford. And that one drops incomplete as he got popped as he was throwing it. That's already the third time they've looked his way on this opening drive. He's caught one of the three. That doesn't mean they won't continue to go in that direction. It feels like they think they've got something good going there, and they think those numbers are going to increase. On to try the field goal now, Phil Dawson. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. As Washington's offense comes back out there, gives us a chance to talk about Adrian Peterson, who signed with the Redskins on the 20th. He says he feels like he still has juice in the tank. He's always going to feel that way. One of the most competitive players the game has ever seen. Struggled in New Orleans last season before getting to Arizona and put up decent numbers there, 448 yards rushing. Chewed up Tampa Bay in the first game that he played for the Cardinals. But he only averaged 3.4 yards per carry for the season. How about the performance with Washington in his first preseason game? Average 5.1 yards per carry. If that's the AP they get, they'll be excited. The first carry now for Adrian Peterson. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield after a gain of about four. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. Chains. And that's a run that'll energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. down here's a run with Peterson and they went the wrong way there losing yardage back at the 43 yard line it'll be a loss of one and that'll bring up a second and 11 moving backwards on first down never a good thing what does that do for the mindset on second down well it changes your play call definitely because as a play call you're advancing yourself thinking okay we're gonna get a gain here now you've got to go back in reverse, come up with something to pick up not just the yardage lost, but gain a few extra. They run again with Peterson. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain that time, and it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. I got 
Throwing on third down, Smith. Pass the 20. Jordan Reed has it. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15, just shy of the 10. A gain of 32 that time. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. Redskins with their first trip to the red zone thus far. It's first and 10 from the 12. And off comes to Peterson. And finding room to work, he's down to the two-yard line. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. carry for Samaje Piran. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft, and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. A shotgun snap for Smith. Oh, he almost picked it. Nearly a turnover there on their opening drive. And that's a throw he'd like to have back. Now fourth down. It's a great job by this secondary. When I watch them, they remind me of elite defenders on a basketball court, right? They want to contest each and every pass. Great contest on third down to bring up fourth. And Hopkins' kick is good. And it's 3-0 as the Redskins strike first. A good drive gets them inside the five, but they could not punch it in. And credit the defense, too. Make sure that that happens because that was the old bend but don't break approach. Made sure they contained them when they absolutely had to and forced the field goal attempt that went through. Following the made field goal for three, Hopkins now to kick it off. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Cardinals offense now works their way back onto the field. And they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there, we've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? They begin the drive with Johnson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. His first carry in their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurdling through them. Ready? 
They stay on the ground on first with Johnson. And he's across the 40, three extra yards to the 43. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Getting the sense, Charles, they're going to put a big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing so far, working pretty well from them. And here's the best part. We always talk about the best performers do their job when the lights come on. I think he likes natural light best. Now Bradford on second down. He gets it into the hands of Larry Fitzgerald. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. First grab for Fitzgerald. He's got a first down. And he's got it across the midfield stripe and into Washington territory. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice gain like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Bradford, throw left side, caught by Butler. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. This is Logan. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. He needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down at a yard. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. Too long for a field goal, too short to punt that in-between range, and they'll go for it on fourth down. Working out of the gun, Bradford. He's going to have his running back. It's complete. And he gets it to the 34, good enough for the first. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. here on first down. That's caught by Butler over the middle. And he carries this one all the way down to the nine. A really nice gain of 25 yards. The Cardinals into the red zone for the first time. They're looking at a first and goal from about the nine. Hey, hey, hey. Got three. Got three. Hot. 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 
They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. I think there's one element that just keeps increasing on defense in the NFL, and that's speed. They want it in every position, and we just saw there some linebackers who can go sideline to sideline, run past that trash, go past people, and make tackles near the sidelines. And not only near the sideline, but also in the backfield there for the loss. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. They'll give it to him up the middle. And he'll fight his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Only a couple yards there, and that's going to set up a long third and goal. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here, not even a thought, is yeah, it? defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not you and you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. Ready to go now in the second quarter. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis. It's the Cardinals in possession of the football. And they'll come up looking to keep this drive moving. This has been a long drive. you got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Third and goal, Bradford. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Zach Brown. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, they're definitely with some juice on that pass. And while tight ends don't always have the same reputation for hands as wide receivers do, in this case, that ball was expected to be caught. The Redskins offense now. They get set to take over here. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. After the interception, here's Smith. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Before the game, they were running the route tree about as efficiently and effectively as we could have possibly imagined. But sometimes the passes just go awry. Yeah, let's face it. When you're running the route tree in pregame, you don't have defenders breathing down your neck. You don't have defensive backs making plays on the football. Hard to replicate the intensity of the game in pregame. On second and ten, Smith. And he comes back with one complete. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Seven yards on the play, and that's going to bring up a third down. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him? without weakening our overall defense. You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. Smith finding his big tight end read for a Redskins first. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. They'll run it now, out of the guns. And able to get this one across the 45 before.
before he's brought down. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. Partner, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get him. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. of an impact in the running game thus far and after that last run not much is going to change in that area he hasn't been able to get anything going and really the offensive line not helping him much here's smith now on second down and now the ball's loose smith loses it team that lost it to get it back because this is this is the quarterback the ball gets away from him everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense they're usually looking in the other direction downfield or moved away from it in this case though the teammate is able to come up with the ball the redskins on third down they've been okay two for three thus far this will be third and a mile From the gun, here's Smith. He finds Quick. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. And a big 32-yard play on third. Well, you think he loved the protection he had there all kinds of time. And you're so right. How could you not love that? Great protection. The big guys up front really locked in on it no one gets near the quarterback he's got all the time in the world to survey the field and deliver for a first down and the big boys up front a big reason why they're also winning too so into cardinal territory now it's first and ten down at the 33. I got, I got that. they run the counter now it's peterson and past the 30 down to about the 27. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. The Redskins on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and seven. Out of the gun, Smith. And that is incomplete. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. He made his first, this from 47 yards out. And his kick is good. Didn't hit it all that well, but he got enough on it to put it through. And that will double their lead as it's up to six. 
So scores on their first two possessions, but 6-0, so field goals, probably not what they were hoping for. Yeah, you're exactly right about that. Not what they were hoping for, but they should be happy that they have points on the board. It almost feels like that old slow and steady wins the race, doesn't it? In this case, though, they want to be slow and steady now, but get explosive later and put the points up on the board. Following the made field goal for three, Hopkins now to kick it off. This is T.J. Logan to return it. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. So out now come the Cardinals. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. And room to run as he's up past the 35-yard line. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. First play of the drive, let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Tackled there by Monte Nicholson. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. And he brings this up to the 46, good enough for the first. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. I always appreciate runners who understand situations. That was just third and inches. No reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break off a bigger play. Just go pick up the first down, and that's exactly what he did. averted almost picked instead second down well nearly another interception there that would have been two drives in a row with a pick he's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're saying interestingly that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive but fell incomplete an incomplete pass on first down that leads to a second and ten They'll run it here with Logan. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. Call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. Not a whole lot of room to maneuver there, and I think that's because everyone took care of their responsibilities, filled their gaps, held their place. No place for him to run. Yeah, look good. Everything got funneled to the nose tackle. They swallowed him up. To throw on third down. Bradford got his man complete over the middle. It's Fitzgerald. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. Hunt, 
Now Bradford on fourth down. And he finds his man. That's Butler. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. But well, all came together on that one, didn't it? Big time throw on fourth. Now that had to feel good, didn't it? Taking that type of a gamble there and making it pay off. What a throw. And tough as a receiver because no matter how perfect the pass, you know it's fourth down and you got to convert. A little bit of extra pressure, but he overcame it. On first and ten, Bradford. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Zach Brown. And this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. Skins offense now. They head back onto the field. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. A good starting spot for the Redskins as they come up first and ten. Now a first down throw. It's Smith. His throw incomplete. He was looking to get that one to Chris Thompson, and now it's second down. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Second and ten, Smith again. And his throw is incomplete. on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and ten. Operating from the gun. Smith is brought in by Jamison Crowder. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. It'll be a gain of eight, but it'll also lead to a fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. David Johnson now gears up to help lead this offense back on the field. He's doing his thing. He's got some good yardage, but his team right now in the second quarter, zero points. Just not a complete formula. Half of it's there, being able to run the ball and set the tone. What if they may have to go to some play action, throw off the run game, and try and get the ball in the end zone? I was just going to ask you that same thing. Maybe you use that run now to set up the pass, right? I would think so because the run has been very effective for them. Tim Carey for Johnson. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. Throw for Bradford. Over the middle, it's Holmes. And able to get 
this one across the 45 before he's brought down. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh shut of downs. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Six yards. Two minutes to go here in the first half. More from the desert after this. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Need to, give the, need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. Bradford now, 9 of 15, throwing the ball, 60%, and it's first and 10. First down, Bradford. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. A wise move there, looked like nobody open, now second down. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. A second down throw for Bradford. In the middle of the field, he's got Nelson. And he's brought down. Bradford fighting Nelson for an Arizona first down. Some think the teams really won't throw a slam route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn into big plays. Inside the 15 down to the 14 yard line. That's what I'm talking about. Nice hit, boy. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. To the air again with Bradford. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And before they can run this third down play, we're going to get a timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. So the offensive unit called the T.O. And now we are ready to resume play. The Cardinals on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. Here it's third and three. That would have been his third pick in this game alone. Instead, fourth down. I think someone's going to get in the QB1's ear when he gets to the sideline. Already thrown an interception. That one should have been picked. 
Look, let's just be honest about it. That would be the second person in his ear because he's hearing it in the huddle right now. Not the start to the game he wanted. Like you said, the pick on the opening drive, second drive, not much better. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And Dawson's kick is good. And they are on the board, trailing now at 6-3. to three. So they do get the three points before they hit halftime. Something to build on, maybe. Yeah, go ahead and raise the banner, right? Go wave the flag. That's good. Got points. And now, as you said, they've got something to build on as they get ready for the second half. Now after the made field goal, here's Dawson back out now to send this one away on the kickoff. And now we look at Josh Dawson. Not only does he not have a catch, I don't, I don't think he's been targeted in this game, but they're winning. And if you ask a receiver of his magnitude, he'll tell you that it's because everyone is focused on him anyway. Okay, you've taken it away. No catches, no targets, but we're still winning. I've opened things up for the rest of my team. I know how receivers <laughs> think. <laughs> They've been using him as a decoy, and effectively so. <laughs> on first and 10, Smith. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. Now before this second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. So it looks like somebody may have forgotten the snap count and a five-yard penalty ensues. False start, offense. So that one will be accepted. Still second down. And we are back here. I'm Brandon Gunn alongside Charles Davis. So the offense takes a timeout. And now we're set to get going. And that false start penalty certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Following the penalty, it's Peterson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. And now the Cardinals are going to use another timeout. As the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Again, Peterson. 
And he'll go down after losing yardage at the 10. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. As the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. Here's Tressway now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. as a 53-yard punt. And the Cards will take over first and 10. And now let's look at David Johnson. Now he's having himself a little bit of a banner game. His team right now, though, losing. Needs a little bit of help. And I kind of equate it to a basketball game where you have the big score. And sometimes your strategy is, okay, he can go ahead and have all of his points. Let's hold down everyone else. And that's the way you win the game. And right now, he needs everyone else to start scoring quote-unquote, as he's been. Yeah, and he's hoping to keep it close so maybe they can keep it on the ground, not start to go through the air as much. Bradford now to throw on first down. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. And that's what he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They go play action. Now Bradford. And that's going to be incomplete. Twelve seconds left. Larry Fitzgerald was the intended target. And that'll make it third down. The Cardinals on third down. Lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. This is third and ten. the shotgun. It's Bradford. He's going to walk one deep left side here. And he can't quite intercept it. Zone coverage. Free safety was there. Couldn't come up with it and now it's fourth down. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on fourth. They'll indeed go for it. It's Bradford. And that is incomplete. Two seconds left on the clock. A surprising move to go for it. Predictably, at least somewhat predictably, it doesn't pay off. And the Redskins will take control of the football in great field position. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. This will be from 56 yards out. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game.
Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams as they've already made their way back out of the locker room. So to bring you the story of the second half, let's get you right back out to Brandon God. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. The Redskins in a good spot. They've got the lead. They will get the football as the second half gets underway. This is taken at his four. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Now the Redskins offense, they get set to go back to work here. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because... Now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. We'll see if they do just that. The third quarter starts with a run by Peterson. And it pushes his way forward to about the 32. It's the pro bowler Chandler Jones who makes the tackle. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Tackle made there by Josh Bynes. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. The offense on third down tonight, three for seven so far in this game. They're looking at third and a few inches. They'll run it. Here's Peterson. <laughs> And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A pickup of 11, and it moves the chains. I think I saw a lot of shoulders just drop there. And what I mean by that is they finally were able to relax a little bit because that was an important play call. They needed to pick up that first down at this stage of the game. Yeah, couldn't afford another quick drive and out. Again on first down, Peterson. And he showed off a nice juke of the defender before the next wave could bring him down. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. to give him a new set of downs. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? What's that, five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Oh, 
They'll run it here with P. Ryan. And an alley to run. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Give them 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. to the 29-yard line. Give the tackle to Hassan Reddick. Definitely too early to panic, but that is his fourth carry of the game, and collectively has a total 10 yards. So maybe there's no panic, but maybe some concern. Yeah, and maybe a little concern up front because they're not giving him any space right now. They'll try the air now with Smith. Too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. They were trying to get it there to Josh Doxson, and it's third down. The Redskins on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This is third and nine. I got nine, eight, eight. Throwing on third down, Smith. He's got his man. This is Jackson. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Just a five-yard pickup, but it leads to fourth down. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up. Keep it on his feet. Get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. Hopkins' kick is good. And they continue to lead in the battle of field goals here. It's now 9-3. So three field goals that he's hit. Now this last one helps him stretch out the lead. He's been solid, hasn't he? And he lives up to the adage that every offensive coach has ever said to us. We want to end every possession with a kick, right? For them, it's either extra point, field goal, or at worst, a punt. In this case, it's been threes. Following the made field goal for three, Hopkins now to kick it off. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he powers his way up past the 30. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Let's talk about football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. Now Bradford on second down. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Well, that was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. Here we go. 
The Cardinals on third down. They've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They'll run it now out of the gun. And the athleticism on the spin move allows him to pick up the first before he's brought down. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Back to him on first down. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. They'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. Second down throw for Bradford. That's complete to Butler. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. As long as you go through your proper reads and progressions, the drag route can be one of those old reliable plays because usually it's good for a good chunk of yardage, as we just saw there. And those guys like it, right? They can get the ball with a full head of steam. Especially against man coverage, because man coverage, they're typically running away from someone and not worried about traffic coming out on the other end. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10, right at the 40. On first and ten, Bradford looking left side and he's got a man. That's Holmes. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. Call that a loss of five yards on the play. And it'll make this a second and long. Well, that wasn't exactly a thing of beauty. I know they completed the pass, but look at the yardage lost. I mean, who does that make happy? That's why I don't play in PPR points per reception fantasy <laughs> leagues right there. You'd be really you don't deserve upset, anything right? for that. But you get credit for it? Is yeah. that how that works? Yeah. Well, I know whoever has this team's defense, they were happy about that play. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. They go back to the ground with Johnson. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. It'll be a loss of a yard, and they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Brandon, we're into the second half, and this offense has not scored a lot of points, and that was another example of why. I think it's time to open things up and start really trying to move the ball. Third and 15 here after the first and second down plays went in the wrong direction. From the gun, Bradford. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game instead. They're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. Here's Andy Lee now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And here come the Redskins now. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. 
Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that weren't happy with that field goal. I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive down with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. I said, all right, Now a play fake here on first down. Jackson with a grab over the middle. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 18 yards the gain for number 18. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. They go play action here on first down. Trying to lay one up deep. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Pass interference. Defense. So the contact came Automatic before the ball down. got there, and the flag is thrown. Timing is everything, isn't it? And it's so hard to cover these great receivers. They have such great body control, and they can fake you out. In this case, as you described, got there before the ball got to the receiver. Penalty flag had to come out. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get about four there as he takes it from the 10 down to the 6. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. On second down, Peterson. And he's going to have just a couple here with a marker on the field as well. Holding offense. So he was holding from that Still left tackle position. Everyone tries to keep their hands inside when they're blocking ever since they liberalized the rules where you can extend them out. But sometimes they get out a little wide and they get detected grabbing some cloth. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Here's Piran. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. Robert Kim Dietschy, the one to bring him down. The Redskins on third down. Not quite 50%. Four for nine. This is third and 11. From the gun, here's Smith. And probably the wise decision there. No one open, he just throws it away. And that keeps the field goal on the table as it's fourth down. What's the old adage? Be quick, but don't hurry. Well, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. <laughs> that ball had to be gotten rid of. Otherwise, he was going to get sacked. So they'll turn to the kicker again. He's been a busy man thus far. And Hopkins' kick is good. And the lead stretches to nine. It's now 12 to three. So he's got another field goal, his fourth now in the game. He's making it look easy out there. He certainly is, and they're always aiming for a swing of the leg that repeats under pressure, right? So nothing's different. He's got that right now because confidence is breeding confidence. The 
Following the made field goal for three. Hopkins now to kick it off. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And the Cardinals getting set to trot out there now. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. <laughs> He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, all right? <laughs> so you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Oh, poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, so, hey, listen, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. A play fake. Bradford. He can't avoid the pressure. Redskins get there. Matt Ioannidis in there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he finds enough of an opening to get this one back up to his 20. It's a gain of five, but they're still deep in a hole. 15 yards still to go on third down. Well, partner, they've been running it well the entire game, and the big guys up front, they're a huge reason why. And now they're reaping the benefits as they continue to open up big holes and gain nice yardage. Third and long for Bradford. And that would not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. It's Cardinal football, but they trail here as we get set to bring you the fourth and final quarter. Here's Andy Lee now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Now it's Crowder. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15. And it'll be Redskins football now with a first and 10. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and ten. They start the drive with Peterson to the 40 and no further. The razzle-dazzle, though, got him a couple extra on the play. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. It's 
Smith on first down. Blitz coming and down he goes. How about that? Well, the so-called little guys putting the pressure on. That was a strong safety. When I was in college, we often called that a lightning blitz. Gotta imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. And he Here's Smith now on second down. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. It is tough to complete pass against zone defenses. The windows that you see open, they shrink pretty rapidly. How about being able to hit a moving target against the zone before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball? Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation. And there, the defense won the battle. Third and long, it's Smith. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. Remember, quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tough rule that they can fall back on anymore. Here's Tressway now as he's on to punt for Washington. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. down throw for Bradford. Got a man. It's the rookie Christian Kirk. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Bradford now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Bradford on first down. Throw left side complete. That's Fitzgerald. And I think the ball's out. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble. That could have been trouble. Defensively, maybe an opportunity miss there. No doubt about it. When that ball's out, all you're thinking about as a defender is, this is our chance to make a huge play. Instead, he's able to recover his own fumble. And Big usually, sigh of relief, huh? Yeah, usually those wide receiver fumbles, there's open space around for the defense, but not there. He hops right back on it. down, Bradford. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off near the 42. And he's going to get forward for about five, but that may be coming back. What say you, Mr. Referee? Holding defense. Wait a second. They did not accept that after the incompletion. What? I'm, I'm, your, your look is just as puzzled as mine. <laughs> I got nothing for you here. You have to take that penalty, don't you? It's free yards. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and ten. I got 
They give it to Peterson. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. And that's a loss of seven on the first down play. Well, so much for all the time that you spend in practice because for offensive linemen and running backs to get in sync, that requires a ton of practice time, a ton of watching tape together, a ton of really getting to where you're thinking with one mind on every single play that's called, every single run, because you want to know how your guy's going to block it. They want to know how he's going to run it, what kind of cuts he's going to make, and it's really anticipatory. And when you're really locked in together, you know what he's going to do before he actually does it. On this play, that didn't happen at all, and that turned into a big loss. And this one also slow and developing as he's maybe getting back here to the line of scrimmage, but not much more than that. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Looking deep downfield. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. Here's Tressway now. He's been terrific so far. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And he didn't quite have the backspin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. With his guys trailing here in the fourth, he can ill afford a repeat of the interception that ended the last drive. Yeah, you're two scores down. You take it upon yourself now to play perfect or near-perfect football if you want to get your team back into the game. But it's also tough to do when you're trying to avoid errors, yet still play perfect football. Shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Going up top. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. Sure, that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield. But that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit, and they may have to change accordingly. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Throwing again, Bradford on second and 10. Open man, Butler complete. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. The Cardinals on third down. They've had a lot of chances, but not much success, converting only three times. This will be third and six. Working out of the gun, Bradford. And this is going to be incomplete. Right, let's go ahead and try and get into the body and the mind of the linebackers. Yeah, I know they're bigger and stronger than I ever was, but in this situation, they understood what was going on as much as the offensive guys. Because the offense guys are always taught, find the first down sticks and make the play. Well, on defense, what do you want to do? Guard the first down line. Make sure they don't get there and tackle them in front. They were able to drop in their zone coverage, figure out where the first down line was, and end up making the play, swatting it away so they couldn't get the completion. Here's the veteran punter Lee as he sends this one away. Crowder now to return. A big boot that time. 57 yards the official distance. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. They're out in front last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. 
They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. Peterson as they begin on the ground. And he'll be brought down here at the 28. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. So the solid run on first, and I would imagine no real hurry to run that second down play. No, it's all in your quarterback now. He's going to keep an eye on the play clock and bleed things down, and he's not going to let the ball be snapped until it's inside three seconds left on the play clock. Unless, of course, you're playing a video game, you're trying to run it up on your own. <laughs> Nice touch. Cold-blooded, too. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game-changer there in the second half. Instead, it's third down. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead. You've got to protect it. And he's taking chances, putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. From the gun on third down, Smith. And that is incomplete. Here's Tressway now as he's on to punt for Washington. Averaging over 50 yards a punt so far as this one's away. This is brought in at the 21. It's a net of 40 there, a punt of 48, and a return of eight. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. First and ten, Bradford. Fitzgerald's got it, right side. And he's brought down after a good game. A very solid gain of 27. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. In Washington territory now, here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. On play action, Bradford. He's going to let this one go deep. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. That one goes for 36 yards. Well, even after all those interceptions, he's not deterred, still confident to go deep at work there. I think all the old rules about playing that position still apply. If things go wrong, you still act like you're the best player out on the field. You still carry that supreme arrogance with you and continue to fire the ball. I've seen guys have games like this, and this is where you find out if you're great or not. Can you overcome some interceptions and still lead your team to victory? They'll try and run. This is Johnson. And a nice pick up there. He gets about five down to the four-yard line. So that run gets him about halfway home. Yeah, it's now second and goal 
The end zone beckons. It looms. They can do whatever they want. Full playbook. Run it again, or they can go play action and try and put it in that way. And Johnson on an island by himself in the backfield. Second and goal. Play action now. Bradford. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. Ryan Kerrigan coming on the blitz. He gets him for a loss of seven. I remember throughout my career here in defensive coaches always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. In search of something here after the sack, it's third and long. Bradford getting his guys ready. From the shotgun, it's Bradford. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Preston Smith, he's the one to get him this time, and back-to-back -back sacks are going to bring up a fourth down. And it appears to me that someone's defensive coordinator is jockeying for a raise. A sack on second and goal, a sack on third and goal, now brings up a decision on fourth down. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This from 36 yards out. And Dawson's kick is good. And that'll move them back within six now. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. Now after the main field goal, here's Dawson back out now to send this one away on the kickoff. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open but you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays they are going to gain yardage, how would you say it, consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs, and the goal, end the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you still have the lead. Another toad for the workhorse here this afternoon, Peterson. And he powers his way up past the 30. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Brandon, you know how many times we've done games, and at the start of the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers, fourth quarter is ours. Well, how about this drive? You saw the four fingers for four-minute offense, and this offensive line has really hunkered down and established themselves. Now, this is where they say, put the game on our shoulders, we'll lead the way, right? No doubt about it. And let me tell you, if you're a running back, all you want to do is get behind those big fellas, have a little vision, and find some space. And a solid way to do that on the first play of the drive there. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. I got I got Here's Smith from the gun on third down. And this is going to be incomplete. Here's Tressway now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today.
Taken at about the 16. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. David Johnson now gears up to help lead this offense back on the field. He is knocking on the door for 100 yards in this ball game. And it's so important. It doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal. Just short of it, a little bit over. A little bit over feels better to everyone. Offensive line, running back, team totals, just something magical about breaking that barrier. And he's right there on the doorstep now. Bradford now to throw on first down. Completes it to Fitzgerald. And he's able to get out to the 32 brought down there. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Second down, Bradford. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to need a nice long soak in a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. And once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. They go play action. Now Bradford over the middle. It's Holmes. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. So down six, and they know they need this one on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Redskins will take control of the football in great field position. Well, they were two for three on fourth down tries. Now they're unsuccessful. That brings them down to 50%. But that's a percentage you have to feel pretty good about. You know, they had two for four. I mean, two for three before that. They finally get stopped again. That's okay. That's the type of team that will keep pressing. In this situation, they'll continue to go for it. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is, do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but it's still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. Carry for P. Ryan. And not much running room. Down to the 32. Whistles now and a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left.
They'll run again with P. Ryan. And he's going to take this one down to the 25. And now the Cardinals are going to use another timeout as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. Adrian Peterson. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and it'll be second and 11. But, Parker, I guess sometimes it's just a matter of philosophy. Some say run until they absolutely stop you, and others say, well, when you think they're about to stop you, fool them a little bit. I guess they should try to fool them on that play. the simple question why not just take a knee there i don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance we've seen it happen in the game of football it doesn't matter whether you watch high school college or the nfl some people get a little greedy try to get that extra running play in and it can backfire on them a couple of plays sent them the wrong way and now they face a third and 14. Smith, and that should all but do it. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say so long and sign off from the desert.